Well, hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to what is episode number three of our clustered servers on the Iron Mine server, combining Aberration, Ragnarok, and the island. We are obviously on Ragnarok today. So I have caught the boss battle bug. I've got a ways to go to prepare for it, but I really want my own transmitters. Now that we're hopping from server to server, I have become fully aware of the logistics of getting to the obelisks or the drops in order to hop around. And so I've made a priority goal out of getting ready to get at least to the point where I can unlock the transmitter engrams. So that's going to take either the beta dragon on the island or the beta bosses here on Ragnarok. And I've heard these ones are easier. I'm more established here than on the island anyway, so I'm going for it. So I've been taming and breeding Rexes to start with. There's a bunch of caving and stuff to do in addition to get all the artifacts, and i got to kill some more creatures to get some lungs and brains and things like that <laughs> for the tributes. Anyway, yeah, this is all new to me. It's old news to a lot of people, but right now I am over here, and there are some Rexes in front of me. We've just upped our levels here to level 6, difficulty 6, so things go up to 180. There were a couple of Rexes right in front of me, but uh, I'm not seeing them now. I'm having a hard time finding 180s. I found one so far, but just over here somewhere, was right in front of me when I started talking, oh there it is, is a level 168. So it's... What's going on here? All right, things bugged out for a second there, but I got a new angle on it. So there's a 168 and a 24. I guess they're pals. So the one with the burgundy ridge on top, that's the 24. So that one's got to go. So let's see if I can surgically do this. I tamed about four Rexes yesterday and considered replaying some of that footage, but I figured now that we're recording, oop, might as well. Do it with you guys. So the TLC update has dropped and Rexes have a new roar. <laughs> and of course, every time I'm on camera, I am not nearly as graceful as I am when I'm not. But I've been killing dozens of Rexes. They fear my griffin. Because <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of the, the low level ones so that higher level ones can spawn. I just learned recently though that they're probably attached to stego spawns as well. So that you need to get rid of stegos in the area too. And I'm just not much of a mass murderer like that. But anyway, we got that 24 out of the way. I am riding a griffin by the way that was level 180. Or said he'd left something for me at my base in his continuing infinite giftiness. And so I went, and guess what? There was a griffin named something that was a 180 in the wild. So I've been riding around on something, leveling them up, and mainly by killing Rexes. <laughs> and they're going to tame this one. Doesn't seem to recognize I'm there yet, or else he's slow. There's the new roar. It's supposed to make you poop, but uh, I didn't poop. Just now, I don't think my griffin did either. It's kind of a, like a little stun lock. I'm using Bioshock darts, which I built up previously. Because uh, they take them down pretty quickly. It usually seems to take me about 20 of them. To take them down. And doing it from the griffin makes it really easy. Almost too easy. But what the heck, we're taming lots of rexes. Seems to have lost interest in me. He's like, whatever, puny human. Can't do anything to me. But we will. Eventually, he'll be on the run. I just gotta keep an eye on my stamina. On the griffin. Come on. Once we get this guy down, I'll fill you in on the rest of the haps for this episode. 
it's mainly about breeding Rexes, but I also want to um, check out some of the other TLC update stuff. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a beehive to get some honey for the nanny for the breeding, so we can check out the bear's new honey gathering ability. Plus, let's check out its new model. The Rexes have a new model too, and we'll see it a little better once we can actually get closer to it. So it shouldn't take long now. Pretty soon, it should be on the run. My stamina's still hanging in there. So, let's finish this up. Okay, time to go sleepy bye. And I think it's running now. It seems also with the TLC update, they've really slowed it down. This game might as well just be playing in slow motion, the way they keep nerfing the speed of everything. But yeah, Rexes are slow now. Okay, he flinched too right before I shot him, so hopefully I did not mess up taming effectiveness. We'll see. Hope not. Um, but we're doing so much breeding, it'll all work out in the end. Anyway, oh, you're still following me. Yep, see there? Something, and it really is something. Except for the fact that griffins have been nerfed now, too. They are shadows of their former selves. Still fastest way to get around on the island besides Drake, I think. And still pretty mighty, but yeah, not as much as they were. So, yeah, here's the new Rex. It's got a more ridgy head, I think. A little less of a bulbous head. Tried to make him look a little, a little scarier. I'm not sure what the other differences are. The little rocks kind of scales on its body don't seem as pronounced. Which I kind of don't like. I, I liked how it looked like it had big old rocks embedded in it before. But anyway, yeah, this is them. They're pretty cool. Let's see what kind of stats I got on this guy. So its health is uh, 4620 wild. And stamina, 1428, melee, 275. So it does not look too remarkable. But we'll see once we breed it and we get the imprint on it. I think I've got health coming out as high as 9,000 right now. Oops. Hello. Let's get out. Get those guys away from my tame. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to finish up this tame and then we'll go do some other stuff. That takes care of them. Well, <laughs> it's been a turn of events. I got a phone call while I was taming this. I got distracted and I got back up and I saw a 168 roaming around. And I thought this one had woken up. But apparently I have just knocked out another 168. And then right by this guy, if I can get in the angle, see it properly. There is a 174. <laughs> So, uh, that's some pretty good luck. I'm full of prime right now, which I'd love to put on that one, but I uh, can't quite do it with this 174. So, we're going to tame this one too, and we might come out of here with three tamed Rexes. Only got a few uh, Trank Darts. Somehow, I always miss the first shot. Uh, oh, we got that. Um, but I've got, um, of the shock darts, but, oh no, I've got seven left now still. But I've got a whole bunch of other tranquilizer methods, so I think we'll be okay. I don't know why this thing isn't, uh, attacking the Carno that's after it. I guess it was. It's AOE, it doesn't even have to turn around. Hey, that would be some good prime right there. We should get that. <laughs> My Parasair. Eh, you got it first. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't want to spend the whole episode taming Rexes with you guys because we got other stuff to do, but... And it's funny. I've never seen 
Raptors and Carnos attack Rexus before. Uh, but this guy's still here. I still can't put my prime on the other one. Hopefully it hasn't all gone bad. Shoot him in the butt. So slow they are. I need some ammo. I wonder if he could hit me there. I'll find out. Nope. Okay, I think it's on the run. Now it's just a matter of time. We don't have to worry about it biting us at this point. It's just going to run away. Got to get this 174. Only one level away from being a 180. That's right. Lay down right next to your buddy. Gotta get these other guys away from the buddy, though. Getting in my business. Stupid raptors messing up my proximity. And it's down. So hopefully nothing will attack it while it's down. It shouldn't. Generally nothing attacks a Rex while it's down, although we did see things attacking them. Maybe if that's just because they got hit. Pego, go away. We're far away enough, we won't mess up our tame. Ooh, that's a high level Stego. And We've got a micro raptor. Super micro raptor. Lots of things. Ooh, that's a 180 micro raptor. Lots of things up here. I think we're safe. We still have any prime. We do. If it eats it fast enough, we'll be good. A little method with S plus is just to put something non edible on, like a piece of fiber. And then, okay, you're not going to bother us. And then go ahead and grab the meat so that it doesn't lose time being on me. Okay, you're just going to eat all that up. You are still plenty unconscious. Get a piece of salt put on you so that prime will last a little bit longer. Yep. And then I gotta go gather some more prime for the other 168 and the 174. Hey! You're a 168. I think you're a female. Are you? Yep, and the other one's a female too, so that's great. That's like instant breeding. I've got one saddle on me. I didn't expect to come back with three Rexes. <laughs> Let's get you over by this one. And you can hang out. So I'm going to get all these fed and up. And then we will move on to the next part of the episode. This part was longer than I thought, but we got some bonuses. Over here, just on the edge of the desert, over the ridge, by Bison's tremendous castle base over there, and all his Rexes and stuff. Right here is the other 168, all embedded into the cliff. 
So I'm going to get that one fed up too. Well, these guys don't seem as slow once you're on them than they are when you're taming them. And I don't know if Bison minds me showing or not, but he's got this amazing guardian here. <laughs> guardian Gollum statue for his base that uh, I think is so funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, got them all tamed and up. And so these are the results. That one is particularly colorful. So here was the first one. It came in at 223, so obviously the taming effectiveness did get messed up, whether it was from an extra dart shot or from the raptors coming up on or whatever. Um, but luckily, had this one come in, the other 168, so it came in at 251, so made up for that, 100% taming effectiveness on that guy, and then, or at least close enough, 99.9% .9 or whatever it was, and then here's the 174. I got to turn off ally looking on all these guys. And it came in at 260. So just a quick look at the stats I got on these two. So this is a 5,500 health, 2,058 stamina, 365 melee. And this one came in all the way up at 7,700 health, lower stamina than the one with messed up taming effectiveness and actually lower melee so go figure and then this one here let's see we got 9000 health on this one which is great the stamina is still not as good as the first one and let me see the melee is almost as good as the first one too so this one only beats in health so this guy on the important stats actually beats everybody out wow you're pretty 108 <laughs> anyway let me get these guys back, and uh, we've used up a lot of the episode with these guys, but um, it's important. So I'm going to, like I said, bring you guys back, and we'll do a few more things. Oh, and by the way, another part of the TLC for Rexes was apparently, besides the roar that makes you poop your pants, which I haven't pooped my pants yet, but maybe it only works if it's uh, being ridden by an enemy player. I don't know. But they are supposedly also better at getting over obstacles, which definitely seems the case. I'm having a lot less hard of a time getting them over rocks and things and over uneven terrain. And uh, I also found that the case to be the case when I was taming them, too. They were able to get up on things I didn't expect to come get me. Not these three, but some of the other ones I've been taming. Anyway, we're getting our Rexes together. On our way back, I was heading to the lighthouse base, but here is the green obelisk. And proximity to it is going to be very important because we're going to need to upload Rexes both for fighting boss battles here, but also for uploading them and taking them to other maps. Because apparently Rexes are the meta for boss battles. There are some other things you can do apparently like the Megatheriums are supposedly really good for the Broodmother because they get their little bug rage. And uh, Therizinos are supposed to be pretty good too. Uh, because the any herbivores, you can also heal with veggie cakes, which can be very important. There's no really good way to heal carnivores except with meat, and that's been nerfed. It's really slow. Anyway, the reason I stopped here, besides talking about proximity, uh, again, to the green obelisk here on Ragnarok, is that this area back here, I think, is going to be a very good place for me to set up a Rex breeding station. I've studied the spawn maps, and I don't think anything spawns back here. There are Rex uh, spawns both behind here, right back there and over there on that little floodplain, and then back over there where I was, and also over here in the Green Valley. Down here, I found the 180 right over there, and some up there, and I got a 174 on top of the ridge. So we're between 
a whole bunch of wreck spawns right next to the green obelisk and we're not blocking any spawns right here so i'm gonna get some materials together and i'm gonna build a gate and a fence right there and then i'm gonna do the same thing on the other end so this will also be a really easy place to build it it's not the flattest not the most ideal but all those other factors combined there's nothing else around i think will serve all those needs so just a little gate here and then that will be my rex taming pen or not taming pen per se but um breeding pen and then we'll be able to combine all our rexes that we've been breeding because i know mikey has and james has and bison has and so we'll be able to combine all our best stats and make a combined effort to get the best mega rexes we can but just down here down at my lighthouse uh let me just get down here real quick and i'll show you what else i've been doing if i don't run out of stamina right before i get there Yeah, here we go. I made it down here. And now you can see why I feel the urgency <laughs> to make a place to do this. Because I did a little bit of it here. I thought, oh, I've got enough space in here. And I've already filled it up. So these were my first four tames that I did yesterday. I searched all over the island like three times. And I went all around Ragnarok. I must have gone on my little circuit about eight times now around the island. And so I managed to get this one was a 156, this one was a 168, this one was a 174, and this one was in 180. So I've bred them once, because it's a female, male, female, male. And these are the babies. I got one of the eggs was triplets. <laughs> and then this was the other one. It's backwards. No, it's just turned around. And I got some pretty good stats. So with the imprinted breeding, this is what I've gotten up to is a 97 hundred for health and this is 424 melee 1638 stamina and then these guys are all the same they're 9240 health or did i get the right ones yes so not quite as good with health better with stamina 2142 and not as good with melee so yeah so these guys just have the stamina to offer Whereas this guy, who was the product of the higher level ones, has the health and the melee damage. So 424 and 9700 is the best I've got up to on the server so far. James has gotten up to about 12k health. So he's got the better one on that. And Mikey has gotten up to 443 melee. So just a little bit better. So there's definitely still better ones on the server than this. I'm not sure exactly how this stamina compares to 2142. But anyway, I'm gonna breed these up with the ones I've got up there, see if we can get any mutations for higher stats and you know what they all come up to when they're combined. I don't know if I even grabbed the very best off of these, but yeah, I've got a project. So this has probably gone on long enough. I was planning on building that little pen before the end of this episode, but in the interest of getting this out to you, because um, that's going to take a little while of grinding crystal and grinding metal and stuff, I'm just going to let you see what I've done so far and just so you know what I am up to. Um, and by the end of this, we're going to have some amazing Rexes, and yeah, we're going to go kill some magnificent giant beasts, but they'll reincarnate. Uh, just like I do, so it'll just be sort of a symbolic battle. <laughs> they won't be going extinct by any means. Nothing here can, so that's great. Yeah, and then soon enough, we'll have transmitters of our very own, so every base will be able to pop out of and in of and just be hopping all over our three clustered servers here. So that's going to be amazing. And I think I'll also get vacuum compartments out of those. I have to go all the way up to Alpha, I think in order to get the moon pool, which I think you need, but we'll be building underwater bases too. And of the tech tier, those are the two things I want the most was the vacuum chamber so we can build underwater bases and the transmitters. So I'm working on it. 
it's not going to be instant, even if after I get these Mega Rexes, because, you know, I still got to do the caves and stuff like that. But that is a work in progress. So thank you all for watching until the end of this episode. I know lots of you have done more of this, so I always appreciate your input and comments and stuff. And if you want to join us, just go on over to my Patreon and sign up, and you too can be on our clustered servers. Anyway, this is Monkey Puzzle. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.